I was not a marshmallow cream eater. In fact, I despise marshmallows. I don't like the texture. Um, I do like marshmallow cream more than marshmallows. But I think my first time was eating a fluffernutter sandwich in high school. It was the first time I had marshmallow cream. <laughs> yeah, I had a fake band in high school called Garbage Juice and the Fluffernutters. <laughs> we played no actual instruments at all. <laughs> the challenge was definitely figuring out how to balance the sweetness. So I kind of went with different flavors that balance sweetness, so saltiness, uh, acidity, bitterness. It's funny because years ago, when I was at Boca with Giuseppe, we, or I conceptualized a dish that utilized a puffed wild rice marshmallow uh, crispy treat, and the protein was gonna be foie gras. He denied that, that dish, <laughs> he rejected it, but that was my first instinct was to go with foie gras. There's not a lot of proteins that lend itself well to such sweetness. The star of the show is the foie gras. Nice, thick, fat pieces. We're gonna sear both sides, let it get nice caramelization. And then we'll throw it in the oven and let it finish cooking through. I have marshmallow here in a couple different forms. Uh, the first form here is a little marshmallow uh, meringue that we've made and uh, crumbled them up into a nice little powder form. So this would be to provide some nice texture. I have a uh, puffed rice crispy treat. This is actually made from uh, Japanese puffed rice called masago and another Japanese puffed rice cracker called uh, bubu arare, which is seasoned with soy and nori. Uh, so that'll provide a little bit more of a savory background to the sweet uh, rice crispy treat. This is uh, marshmallow cream that's been thinned with a little bit of uh, pickled green strawberry liquid. And these are actually our, our, our green strawberries here which have been pickled in uh, sugar, vinegar, a little jalapeno, thyme, lemongrass, and ginger. And this is sunflower seeds that have been toasted and chopped with a little bit of thyme, salt, and uh, canola oil. Land our marshmallow cream down. So I'm just gonna break this into Kind of irregular shapes, make them not too large. And what's their flavor? The green strawberry doesn't really taste like a red strawberry. It doesn't have the sweetness, it's more acidic, uh, almost more tannic. It's got a very firm texture, so it lends itself more to cooking. Uh, you can still taste the strawberry within it, but it's a totally different creature. All right, so we have our, our foie gras. Nice and cooked. I'm gonna plate that coming off with the rice crispy treat like that. We're gonna hit it with a little, this is coffee gastrique. This is just rhubarb juice, a little bit of lemon, and sugar. We're also lacking color here. This is gonna give it a nice little pinkish red finish. Put some of our crumbled marshmallow on for texture. I think this is more, definitely more of a dessert than it is a savory dish. Um, it might be nice with like a cured foie gras or some shavings of foie gras, but I think it's definitely a better dessert than it is, you know, suited for anything savory. So what are you trying to say? Anybody want to challenge you? Go for it. Bring it on. <laughs> so I will be challenging Carlos Cruz of St. Louis Assembly with tambori. Tambori is a Japanese ingredient. It's actually the seed of the burning bush plant, which is in the amaranth family, and it's boiled and peeled of its little skin and then used uh, in place of caviar. So Carlos, good luck. <laughs>